Now for my next project, I'm going to be comparing traditional wet setting rollers to a uh, thermal styling blowout. I'm going to put rollers in first and then I will show you how it looks before I start my blowout. Okay, so that was challenging and this is the best that I could do. I'll show you the back. I don't even know how it looks from the back. I don't have a mirror behind me. This is what a wet set roller looks like. I sprayed my hair along the way as it, my hair was getting dry. So I just want my hair to completely dry. I will show you when it's ready to be taken out. And on this side, I'm going to be using um, the Dyson Air Wrap. I'll use the round brush and I'll try to give myself a blowout style. So see you again soon. So my hair is about 80% dry. I'm going to go ahead and use the other attachment and try to keep the Dyson Air Wrap on base. I'm not sure what happened here again. It was on Super Saiyan mode. What I'm trying to say on base means to hold the hair at 90 degrees. My sections are not going to be as small as the rollers. They're going to be bigger. So 90 degree looks like this. So I want to pull the hair at least this high, if not slightly higher. Let it cool completely. So I have here a bore brush and I'm just going to brush through. And now I'm going to remove these rollers and see how it looks. So you can tell right away that the wet set roller is nice and smooth. And there's definitely a lot more bounce to the wet set rollers. So this is the final look. I think I personally prefer the wet set rollers. If I had the time and some help for somebody to put wet set rollers in me, I would definitely do it once a week. I love the bounce and memory that it leaves with your hair. And it really leaves that 90s blowout look. And I'm a big fan of that blowout look. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.